in this video let's talk about the print style in css what is print style and how does it works we will see detail in this video first of all you can see here i have created one file here and file name is css print style.html i have changed this document name into the print style in css and i created one style html element after that i have inserted one image here and also the lorem text inside the p tag if you see in the browser here is the one image and this is the lorem text why we need the print style in css at first when we if i try to print this document by pressing on the ctrl p option you can see this loading preview option i got one image and i got some lorem text here if i want to hide this image during the printing time then i can hide this image not only the image i can change any css style here you can change the default setting here in a, by using the printer properties like the if you need the header and footer you can click here and you will get the header and footer also you can choose the background graphics but this is the default for default properties in the print print function or you can see the print model but if i want to control it by myself if i want to change the font in style or if i want to put the background color or also the, if i want to add or remove the image font style font weight or any css property i can apply or i can remove du during the printing time it means that i can make differences between the screen and then the printing so if i i can say here i can show you one picture here and during the printing time in the printing paper i can hide this image not only the image in all the css properties so at first if you see here in, inside the style property if i type here annotation and then the media and if I type here print, it means during the printing time. If I want to hide this image, then I can simply write here display non property. So it will hide the image here. Okay. If I go to the browser, this is the screen, and you can see in one image here. But if I want to print by pressing the control P here, and you can see the preview here, here is a only one text. There isn't any image here. And also, not only the image, I can control anything I want. Like if I want to change this the italic text if i want to change the font size or if i want to change the font style it's a very simple so if i select here the uh, if i select here the p tag and uh, okay if i select here the p tag and if i want to change the font size here and font size into the 40 pixel during the printing time then i can you can see here if i go to the if i press the control p now this is loading and the size of text is increased here not only increase you can decrease or increase and also you can specify only from the only for the print only for the media -E and then only for the screen so if i put here this string and uh, if you want to make the background color or you can say the font font size or you can say the font style Font style italic. If I write here, italic italic, font style italic, or which which element for paragraph element. Okay, sorry, P. And inside the P P tag, I just want to write code inside the P tag. So you can see here, I'm giving the font style as italic. And if I go to the browser, you can see here, you can see here nothing. This this text is not converted into the italic. Again, I have to go here. And uh, I'm writing, I'm choosing the P tag here. Okay, this is good. And if I go to the browser, till this text is not changing here. Uh, font and then the style. I just want to choose the italic. My spelling was wrong before, so it, it, it doesn't show here. So you can see here, this text is become the italic. But if I go to the printing, printer properties, or you can see the loading preview this text is not italic here this is only italic for the screen also you can define both things at the same time like the annotation media and media media and for the screen and it has re and screen and then the uh, print you can define like if i want to make the font uh, font size as bold font size okay font size bold for paragraph tag so font on size and then bold or you can give the value also not font size font weight okay i'm, I'm providing the font weight as bold and if i go to the here now this text is become bold 
and if I also go into the printer property loading preview this also here also you can see here this also has the font size as bold if you get any confusion regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section we have discussed about the media screen and also the media print and uh, also we have discussed about the media screen and print at the same time if you find this video is helpful please do not forget to like this video and subscribe this channel thank you